Hello, everybody. I'm Joseph Alpert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here this month to call your attention to a particularly interesting article um, that, that's in this month's journal. I hope people will take a look at it because it's something that you might uh, use information in, in daily clinical practice. So, um, the, uh, it is a DiMarzio, uh, is it uh, Thomas Jefferson, but there were multiple authors from all different medical schools throughout the US. And they um, have a large database where they collect information on hepatic toxicity from any kind of drug. And they decided to look at uh, uh, people who were taking turmeric, uh, had there been any reports of hepatic toxicity. As you know, a lot of people take turmeric as, a, as an additive, as an alternative uh, uh, a health uh, uh, product. Um, it comes in capsules, of course. Um, I know we, my, my wife uses it in the kitchen all the time when we're making Indian style food, but that's a small dose. When you take the capsules, you get quite a big dose. In any case, they were able to find 10 patients with very serious liver injury, one of whom actually died, five of whom had to be hospitalized uh, because of uh, uh, turmeric ingestion. Um, so uh, just like with uh, any, uh, any substance, these are all organic compounds, just like the drugs that the FDA approves, and they can interact uh, in, in a whole bunch of ways, and they can be uh, toxic uh, to individuals with certain uh, uh, environmental or genomic uh, makeup. So uh, it's worth telling your patients they're going to take these uh, uh, supplements like uh, turmeric, it's probably a good idea to take small doses. Uh, don't take a big dose because you can hazard very serious liver injury, uh, which is, a, which is a, a awful illness. Um, and as I said, of the 10 patients that they found in the database, one died uh, from uh, liver failure. So I hope you'll stay in touch with us through all of our social media contacts. Um, and I'm looking forward to talking with you next month.